Hello and welcome to Airbus What's It Doing Now and I'm very excited to bring you a heads up on what will be the very first live stream on this channel. Um, I talked about this some time ago during the command episodes and my plan uh, was to bring you a live stream uh, for failure management. So this is uh, what this is all about. The live stream is going to go ahead on Tuesday the 15th of February at 1600 UTC. Um, the channel has got a um, broad um, uh, viewing uh, participation across the world um, so I've had to choose a time that's kind of reasonably sensible uh, to accommodate as many people uh, as possible so I hope uh, I've succeeded in that and you are able uh, to join. Um, this is going to be based on failure management so uh, what I will do in a moment is I will set the scene um, so that you've got some preparation so that when we start the live feed you've got all the information you need and so we can then hit uh, hit the ground uh, hit the ground running um, so um, this will be if you like under the command uh, series but of course you know you can look at this and, and participate no matter what your experience so it's just going to go underneath that sort of umbrella I suppose for those that are in the process of or are preparing uh, for command but the type of failure management that we're going to do um, you know it can be available for for, uh, for anybody no matter what stage uh, you're in hopefully you'll still get uh, something out of it um, I said when I spoke about this originally, we'll see how this goes and this will be the very first live stream. If we have uh, a good audience participation um, then and it seems to work, then I'll run more. Um, if it's just me stood there on my own with no participation, then I probably won't uh, do another one. So this really largely depends on your input and, uh, and your part participation. So how's it going to work? Um, well, let's talk about the purpose of it first. So what I'm going to do is give you the opportunity to put into into practice your failure uh, management model. Now, I'm also aware uh, from feedback that people work in a different model. Some use T-Dodar, uh, some use various other mnemonics. It really doesn't matter. It's whatever you use and whatever you're comfortable with that's important okay so and, and, and the other thing is there's no right or wrong with this all right so um, you work in a way in which you think is practical and make the suggestions and uh, the decision making that goes along with it that you think is sensible okay so I'll come on to more on how we go about that in a moment it's going to be run in a, a real time okay so I will lead the conversation and lead the scenario and then I'll be introducing uh, various um, environmental conditions associated with that for then to invite your, uh, your input. The idea isn't necessarily to teach you how to deal with a specific failure. That's not the objective here. Um, the objective is for you to openly um, uh, work through your failure management model, put that into practice in a sort of real um, live environment. What I'm trying to get you to do here, what I'm trying to encourage you to do is to manage the gray. So you may never see these failures and I'm just gonna dream them up. Uh, it doesn't matter what they are, that's not important, okay? So don't look to these live feeds as an opportunity to manage a specific failure. That's not the objective. Uh, the objective is to uh, enable you to work through your failure management model in practice in real time hopefully it'll help promote option generation and problem solving decision making and work through work through that uh, uh, structure next thing to talk about is participation like I said it's going to be a live chat so um, I'll be looking here for audience uh, participation I will move the scenario forward but it's largely going to be steered by your input and the way you want to go about it now people are going to have different suggestions and that's what i really want to hear um, it, there's no right and wrong answers like i say so don't be afraid to sort of the, make the suggestion um, you'll be able to type a message in 
in response to what's happening. That's what I want to see. And you are going to largely dictate the outcome of this. Okay. So if you think your suggestion's a little bit wacky, doesn't matter. Just put it in there. There's, there's, um, there's no right and wrong. Uh, if, if they're really, really wacky, then we might have to steer it in a different direction. But as long as they're sensible, as long as the plan is thought through, then make the suggestion and um, we'll, look, uh, we'll, we'll look at this participation in order to steer, uh, steer the outcome of, um, of the scenario. So yeah, don't be afraid. Please make the participation. It's really, really important. Um, the audience. Now, this is going to be for members only. And uh, if you uh, haven't done so already, uh, if you are already subscribed to the channel and you are interested in these live feed scenario uh, uh, planning uh, live feeds, then you need to become a member. You can do that uh, by clicking the join button, which is on the title of the channel. Uh, if you can't see that, I've, I've released a video to show you how to do that. Again, if you still can't see the join button, I have subsequently found out that it might be region dependent. So if you still don't see it, try getting yourself a free VPN and that should uh, get you in. If you still have problems, um, then please get in touch uh, and let me know. Uh, there's plenty of time between now and then to do that. So just make sure you get yourself uh, set up. So let's set the scene. Um, we're going off flight uh, from airport A to airport B um, and then back again. It's going to be a simple, straightforward two sector day. Um, the aircraft type is an Airbus 320 CEO. Uh, the route, now I'm UK centric here, so I'm going to pick a, a UK uh, or, 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 or a route in our operation and our AOC. If you don't have these airports in your AOC, then just choose something that's similar. It doesn't really matter, but I'll, I'll give you the criteria now. So this route's going to be from uh, Inverness, which is uh, Echo Golf uh, Papa Echo, to Bordeaux, which is Lima Fox Bravo Delta. Block time of approximately two hours and 15 minutes. Now, as I say, if you don't have those in your operation, if you can pick a departure airport that is circa 1800 meters, um, and your destination airport circa 3100 meters and a route that's approximately two hours, two hours and 15, that will be fine. All right. So I'm leaving it pretty uh, generic. The only thing that is really important here is the runway lengths. All right. It doesn't really matter which way they're orientated either because the weather's cab okay with calm wind. So pick two airports, similar runway dimension. Uh, and that's really uh, all you need. Um, but if you've got those already, uh, even or if you can have access to those online, then uh, even better because um, that will uh, that will help you follow along a little bit more easily. Um, the weather, it's a nice day. It's cav okay. The winds are calm at both departure and your destination. The outside air temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. Q&H is 1023. The runway is dry all lengths. Uh, weight and balance, uh, we've got a zero fuel weight of 56 tonnes, the fuel is 6 tonnes and your takeoff weight therefore less taxi is 62 tonnes, takeoff weight C of G is 31.5%. Uh, the um, state of the, or status of the aircraft, there are no MEL items and there are also no applicable OEBs to this aircraft type. Crew. We have two pilots, both with recent experience. You've got four cabin crew, one cabin management, three flight attendants, all again current with recent experience. It's the first day of your operating block and uh, two sectors. Your report time is 12.30 p.m., uh, your local time. An easy day, really, a nice easy day one. Two sectors, two hours, 15, block, happy days. Wish every day was like that. Um, the aircraft will be on stand and it's a transit check and the inbound crew reported no defects. Um, I've given you all this information so that you can actually plug the performance data into your um, digital or, or electric performance uh, platform. If you have that, then great. 
plug it all in because then when we come to do landing performance given the failure I give you, you'll, you'll have that to hand. If you don't, then don't worry too much because hopefully somebody in the uh, stream will have and can give us some clues. But of course, um, I have my own digital um, performance uh, information platform. So I'll, I will obviously be working along with that. So if you don't have this, don't worry. Uh, if you do, obviously it's slightly better for you uh, because you know you can work through that in real time, have a better, a better uh, understanding. Good, okay, well I think that's basically all of the parameters that I really need to give you at this point. There will always be questions and that's why I've uh, left us plenty of time uh, to, to get this done. So just a reminder, it will be Tuesday the 15th of February at 1600 UTC, um, at 1600 Zulu time. Um, so whatever that time is in your part of, uh, part of the world. It's plenty of time now as, as as uh, we are uh, sat we're on the 9th of uh, February so we've got um, six days before this comes out so that's plenty of time then for you to get prepared and get in touch with me with any questions uh, undoubtedly I've missed something uh, so um, do get in touch this is a work in progress here guys so the more we do this or um, uh, then the better it's going to become as I become more familiar with what you need uh, this is the first time that I've done it so um, once I get the feedback from you, once we run this a few times, it'll start developing and getting a little bit slicker. Um, so this is for you, it's for your benefit, remember. So if you need something else, you want to see something from this, something that's going to help you and give you more gravity, then please uh, do get in touch and I'll respond uh, as quickly as I can. Um, I'm working on one or two things between now and then anyway, so you can expect uh, to see one or two more uh, videos come out. But otherwise, um, Tuesday the 15th of February, 1600 UTC, will be uh, scenario one of failure management. Departing from Inverness or a like similar airport, off to Bordeaux or similar. Uh, and I will see you then for the very first uh, live stream failure management video. Thanks very much. See you then.